Well, that looks pretty cool, him going off the edge like that, but now there's people sprinting towards the bottom, so that may not have gone well. So just a kind of quick inventory of what we got and what we're doing. Packing up all our camping stuff. We've got this 96 ounce water jug, our tent, our sleeping pads. We've got a dry bag. We also have trash bags that we'll line the insides of our bags with. Pillow, headlamp for each of us, neoprene socks for each of us because we'll be walking through some water. Trekking poles, a sleeping pad, two isobutane, one stove connection for the isobutane. We've got webbing for helping each other down kind of steep inclines. There's a Sawyer water filter, um, all the same stuff that I just mentioned on Lowe's side over here. We've got every day's worth of coffee. We've got two mugs, one of which is in this kind of camping kitchen that we have here. We've got two bowls there, a skillet, another bowl with a handle on it, our actual stove and our water filtration tablets are also in there. We've got our medical supplies, waste bags, and then our packs, obviously. We both have Nalgene's that are 48 ounces. We're gonna both bring charger boxes for charging our phones, which we only plan to use for recording video. Also gonna bring duct tape and all the food. I'm not gonna bring that whole roll of duct tape, I'm just gonna wrap some duct tape around the isobutane so that we have extra duct tape if we need it. We also have patch tape right here which is for uh, really good for patching backpacks or anything else that may rip, tents or whatever. But we'll have the duct tape just in case as well. And then all of our food, obviously, we've got hats. I'm bringing a beanie, a regular hat, and that sun hat. We've got lots of layers for the night. We're also gonna bring our Crocs because they're light and they'll be a good kind of camp shoe. Mm, got a little compass. We have our trail book as well, which is right there that I'll be bringing. That's about it. There's some extra paracord there, and there's also paracord in this little bracelet thing that also has a knife on it. And then we've got our utensils as well in the cup. Okay, we're all packed up, loaded out, ready to go. These are uh, quite heavy, but they're not horrible, you know? And we've done a little bit of training. We did a six mile hike with our backpacks fully loaded like this before. We've also done a lot of weight vest training, uh, walking around with a weight vest on and CrossFit training. Several workouts have been with a weight vest, so. Hopefully we're prepared. 38 miles. <laughs> dropped off at White House Trailhead. I have to start this adventure, man. It's a beautiful day. It's like 50 degrees right now. It's perfecto. <sighs> All right. We're not even into the mile yet, and we've already crossed the river like five times, so we changed, stopped and changed in our neoprene socks. This is it, it's beautiful already. making decent time it seems like i wasn't sure what to expect but moving about two and a half miles an hour we're about three and a half miles in right now it's 11 40 so feeling good things are going good bird nests like that. A huge bird. This is so crazy. The walls are so high where it connects to buckskin gulps. We're taking a little break. About nine and a half miles in and it's another four or so miles to the first spring. What time is it right now? 2.30. 
two thirty. So we'll probably maybe make it to the spring today. We'll see. Well, never mind. We decided to camp out here tonight. This is the first camping spot that we found. We did about nine and a half miles today, so that's pretty good. We're only doing 38 this trip, and we have four days to do it, three nights, so we should be fine to camp here tonight. And we hadn't set up our tent before, so it's three, and sunset's supposed to be at 5.15ish, so we figured we'd use the extra time to make sure we know how to set up the tent properly um, and just get everything organized. That way we have a good system for the next couple nights. You but, had a heat up water yeah for sure we haven't used our stove either yet so yeah. we're gonna figure figure that out which i've watched youtube videos and read the directions but <laughs> first dinner beef pasta marinara what you have Pasta primavera. Nice. It's really hot. <laughs> oh, that was such a big bite for being so hot. What's wrong with you? <laughs> How is it? Pretty good. Nice. Pretty good. Looks pretty good. Smells Looks good. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Did it. Very good. 513. <laughs> There's just nothing to do. Ready to go to sleep. We're in a boiled water to put in her sleeping bag to keep her warm. Her feet are apparently frozen and numb and the boiling water spilled out of her sleeping bag and burned her skin. So <laughs> two thumbs up. Well, it's morning of um, day two and Lauren slept last night from probably 5.30 to, what, 7 a.m. is when we woke up. <laughs> woke up a lot. On and off, allegedly. I fell asleep also at like, you know, maybe six, but then immediately woke up at seven <laughs> because there was a family of raccoons trying to get into our bags. And woke me up. And woke her up. To tell me that. To tell her that. Didn't do anything about it, just <laughs> laid there, afraid that we weren't going to be able to eat for the next couple days because raccoons were eating our shit. Woke up again at 4.30 to pee, had to get out. Stars were beautiful, amazing, but all of that was going to be ruined by the fact that a family of raccoons had eaten all of our shit. And I checked and there were no raccoons and none of our shit has been eaten. It was left just the way it was. I don't know what I was hearing. It's the earplugs. Should have worn earplugs. Noted though, tomorrow night, I'm just going to get real comfortable. I'm not going to give a fuck about the sounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's 9 a.m. day two. We are on our way. Our feet really never fully thawed out last night, so uh, they're still pretty cold. We met kind of a day hiker yesterday. He said he was a surfer, and with the neoprene socks, he usually wears wool socks underneath the neoprene socks to keep them warm. So we've got our wool socks under the neoprene socks. We'll see if that helps today, but our feet are pretty much numb right now, so it probably won't even matter. <laughs> it's the first cross of water for the day. Don't want to do it. My feet really, really hurt and they're really cold and not dry. <laughs> All right, do it. <laughs> My feet just can't feel it. <laughs> On the sun, finally, I'm going to thaw out like a lizard. <laughs> close to the first spring. This is, I think we're about two and a half miles from the, the actual spring. This apparently doesn't produce enough water to get stuff from. But there's a little bit. We've got plenty of water right now anyways.
Here we go. It's the first spring. about 18 miles in and we've stopped to take our wet boots off and lay our uh, socks and things in the sun. Just soak up some sun time. You know, it doesn't hit for very long in this canyon. So just trying to dry things off. We've been walking in soggy boots now for a couple hours. Is about mile 21. Looks like a little Christmas tree farm. Curious, sad Charlie Brown Christmas trees, but <laughs> those are my favorite. <laughs> We're about 24 miles in. Came up on this. Pile of metal and pipings, old machinery. I'll have to look up in the book what it is. Pretty cool. So it is uh, day two, and we're kind of talking about turning this into a three day trip instead of a four day, three night trip, a two night, three day trip, because we've done 16 and a half miles today and we're still feeling okay. It's about four o'clock. We'd like to stop hiking at five. 515 ish so we're gonna try to make it to this next campsite potentially even a little further because according to the map that i have on my phone it's maybe three miles away so we could maybe make it it'd be close before it gets too dark and use our headlamps to set up tonight and then just have what do we say like 12 or 13 miles for tomorrow left so that'd be easy easy to do if we've already done 16 today and we didn't even we kind of moseyed out this morning so yeah we will see, we will see. But my feet hurt, bro. But I'm not that tired. But we are tired of being wet, for sure. But it's rejuvenating being out here. Every time I start to feel kind of tired, which really only happens when we sit down, as soon as we start walking again, I'm like, oh, this is crazy. All this is so crazy. So you just get fired up again, but we'll see. You will obviously know what happens because you'll see this in its entirety and our decision will have been made. talking about how crazy it would be to see one of these rocks fall we're pretty sure all these rock piles are just you know disintegrated rock just boom and it explodes and that'd be crazy to witness so we're 28 miles in and this is going to be our campsite